The Roscoe method is the only real good intermediate method for three blind corners, but with the limited resources available, the method can seem quite confusing. In short, this method solves one corner at a time using three cycle commutators in the UFR buffer. This concept seems simple, but it can be quite tricky to grasp since a three cycle solves two corners at a time, not one. The workaround for this is using a technique that isn't found in any other blind method. This is called a helper piece, and for us it will be the UBR sticker. The helper piece is the target you use in every one of your three cycles, and every target you alternate between whether the position gets shot to before or after the target you want to solve. For every odd target, your helper position will be shot to after the target piece. The opposite is true for your even targets, where you shoot to the helper position before you shoot to your target position. Let's demonstrate this with a three cycle that doesn't utilize our helper piece. UFR to RFD to RBD. Our first target is RFD, and since the first target of a three cycle is always an odd target, we will do the commutator that solves our target piece first, and shoots to our helper piece second. If you'll notice, the piece that is in our buffer piece now actually is in our next target, RBD, like our traditional method. The piece that is in our buffer position now is UBR, which just so happens to be our helper piece. This is why our odd target commutators always solve the helper piece before the target piece, because after our odd targets, which shoot to the helper piece last, we have to resolve that piece with the commutator that shoots to our helper piece first. This should have cleared everything up for most targets, but what if we get a target that is in our helper position? If that target is UBR, it's pretty self-explanatory. You'll just do your standard alg depending on whether UBR is your first or second target in the three cycle. If it's the first target, you'll do the commutator that solves the helper piece first. If it's the second target, you'll do the commutator that solves the target piece first. RUB and BUR are a little different, but nothing that's drastically harder. The two solve the exact same as any other target, but just with some slightly different algs. If the target is RUB, you will use the algorithm L prime, U prime, L, U prime, L prime, U2, L, R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. If the target is B, U, R, you'll do the inverse of the previous alg, which is R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, L. The last thing to talk about is parity. For parity, you'll execute the last target as an odd target, which it will be. This will leave UFR and UBR swapped. Assuming that you're using U2 as an edge method, your UF and UB edges will also be swapped. This means that after executing your last corner target, the only thing left to do is an F perm. Hopefully this cleared everything up for you. All that's left is to learn all of the commutators, which I will have a video of later. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.